Oh, who can understand my heart? A small frog wandering around looking for food has encountered so many hardships. Normally, I am a great hunter, and it is difficult to escape anything that enters my mouth. But today, fate seems to want to tease me, making me struggle, hungry, and more tired than ever. Early in the morning, my stomach growling loudly, I jumped out of my bed, eagerly searching for food. Soon I came across a giant larva, round, plump, and nutritious. I rushed forward, opened my mouth wide, and grabbed it. But oh my, it struggled so hard that my eyes were dizzy and my head was spinning. I tried to bite hard, but it just wriggled, slipping out of my mouth like a lump of raw fat. I swallowed regretfully, but my stomach was still growling. My heart was churning with resentment. Forget it, I said to myself. Give up the iron hunter, catch the perch. I continued hunting, hoping to find better prey. And then I came across a beetle. Ha! Huh, here's breakfast! I pounced on it, gritting my teeth and biting hard. But, oh my, it was as hard as a rock, its shell so thick that my teeth felt like they were about to break. I tried to chew, tried to bite, but it wouldn't budge. The taste was also terrible, dry, and fishy. I couldn't swallow it, and it was a pity to spit it out and I was so angry that I cried. But life didn't stop there. I swallowed my disappointment and trudged off in search of another prey. And then I came across another bug, smaller, seemingly softer. I immediately grabbed it, holding it in my mouth. Who would have thought that a second later, it would spit out a stream of poisonous gas?
My whole body was numb. My head was spinning. My eyes were blurred as if poisoned. I quickly spat out the bug. My mouth was bitter. My throat was burning. I staggered, fell to the ground, feeling like I had lost half my life. Lying flat on the ground for a while, I crawled up, thinking to myself, is this the end of the road? Or is there still a ray of hope at the end of the day? And then fate seemed to smile a little. I discovered a huge crayfish. Just looking at it made my mouth water. This time, I can't miss. I excitedly rushed forward, ready to devour it. God, I was wrong. The crayfish was not only hard, but also had two large scissor-like claws. I had just opened my mouth to bite when it swung its claws and clamped me down. I jumped back in surprise, almost breaking my beak. At this moment, I was really desperate. All day today, I had only met difficult people. My stomach was hungry, my mind was dizzy, my limbs were weak. I looked up at the falling night sky and sighed. Today is really an unlucky day. If I had known this, I would never have stepped out of my nest. So the life of a frog is full of hardships. green stink bug, which emits a horrible smell when touched, hovered in mid-air, circling back and forth as if to tease the frog. took no time at all, just hovering leisurely right in front of the creature that was watching it intently. The frog's bulging eyes followed every little movement, but the more it looked, the more it concentrated, the more challenged it felt.
beetle swung like a dancer in the air, making the frog both tired and frustrated. Its long tongue twitched slightly, ready to dart out at any moment. was the urge, but more than that, anger at being teased was what really made it impossible to contain itself. Just you wait, the frog grumbled inwardly. A lightning-fast bite, the wide mouth swallowed the bug in an instant. But before it could triumph, the frog suddenly opened its eyes. A terrible, acrid, pungent smell exploded in its mouth. His throat felt like it was on fire, his eyes bulging even wider with panic. His whole body stiffened, his limbs trembled. He felt like he had just swallowed the worst thing in the world. The frog coughed and tried to spit it out, but it was too late. The pungent taste of the bug spread throughout his mouth and down his throat. He wanted to vomit, but his long tongue seemed paralyzed.
and the green stink bug, its echo still seemed to linger in the air like a sly, mocking victor. Will the frog be able to survive the consequences of its hasty eating? Or will this be a costly lesson for it to never dare attack this evil insect again?